All right, lots and lots of things are going on since uh, you saw us uh, this afternoon. Um, the seafood festival wasn't really cranking up until we were uh, about to ready to leave. So we've come all the way back into the city, and if you can hear over all the noise, um, there's a big Asian festival called the Dumpling Markets in LA. So behind me, you can see all the different types of um, really well set up little dumpling stalls. And um, yeah, obviously, Jude's uh, just about finished her, uh, her dumplings here from Fathead. And I've ended up with a really nice um, Asian omelette. It's cool. And it's a lovely day down here at the, uh, the river. I think it's the Torrens River. And it's overlooking the, um, the Adelaide Oval, which is across the river right now. It's a good little spot. So I'm going to sit here and enjoy my um, Japanese um, omelette and uh, see the rest of the day out. Left a, left a great feed at the old dumpling markets, man, it was good. Um, but I saw him a little, uh, little books of things to have a look at. The from tree. Now you can see them just over here, the old one flying around. But there's literally thousands of them in these trees. I don't know how close I'm keen to get. Might end up with a face full. But um, they're a, uh, a grey fox bat or something, flying fox bat or something. Um, we'll see if we can find a little photo of them. They're, they're really cute, but I'm actually quite amazed actually uh, how big they look when they fly. But uh, we'll cross the road and see whether we can. Uh, well, I don't really want to get too close, but uh, see what we can find. So I'm just taking a, a bit of a stroll through this park. I think it's the park on the way to uh, the zoo and uh, the botanical gardens. Pretty popular the amount of people about but you can hear them all up in the trees they are literally thick here we go some these are the spot ones this is up here even amazing how many are still quite actively flying around during the day eh? yeah and like all through all sorts of trees yeah no, no particular one tree <laughs> there's a dead tree there and there's a there's a tree here that's been supported by a, a post I'd say over a certain amount of time there's a lot of um, a lot of weight on it. I'm out of my bloody depth here, I tell you, in the city. So uh, I'm here at uh, McGee um, Electrical. Uh, mechanical and electrical. They do uh, RVs and motorhomes and things like that. So uh, caravans, uh, electrical system. And uh, I haven't piped on too much about it, but um, you might remember in the early days, sometimes we'd have, um, We'd have power showing percentages, all happy, and then all of a sudden, boof, we've got nothing, we're in the dark. So uh, we've been trying to figure it out for some time, and I uh, spoke to a good bloke at Projector, and he said, uh, oh, he said, I've been trying to tell these people making these mobile homes and vans, um, we've got no DC to DC charger or no shunt um, that's operating all the external features that um, I do. There's an internal shunt apparently in the projector unit but it's not designed for any add-ons like a, an inverter and uh, so I believe I'm not an, an electrical expert so uh, Simon here is, uh, is uh, looking into it. We're going to be putting in a new um, DC to DC um, uh, charger which should be able to whack in a little bit more power than what my alternator is doing and um, we'll get that shunt in that's a, uh, a, a better shunt. So fingers crossed, watch the space. So uh, yeah, 
here we are in um, in Adelaide and uh, we've got time to go walk about sadly being an industrial area <laughs> there's not many things to go and see but uh, I'll try and keep myself occupied and uh, I head to the beach that's not far away hello all right we've been from a walk around uh, well I haven't finished my walk around but I've been walking around <clears throat> And there's been some impressive um, sights of planes taken off. So I uh, tapped onto Google and found out where the uh, where the end of the runway could be. Found the skate park. So now it's just finger, fingers crossed on timing. And uh, yeah, Murphy's Law. Oh, here it comes now. Look at this. Over this way. Oh, come over this way. Here it is. How good is that? Oh, I expected a little bit more over there, not there. It fooled me that one, but hopefully that one was good. But yeah, it's pretty impressive taking off, heading out, out towards the beach, which is where I'm going to be heading, that way. Go and see what's happening over there, eh? Just on my little walk. Well, what's this? Looks like a spaceship. Yeah, you know, a piece of a spaceship that's been rejected. But but no, nah, this guy here, Reg Spriggs, he built it out of an old um, boiler. You climb in that thing, man. So uh, he's actually been responsible for finding uh, some of the deepest underseen canyons in Australia. One of which is now named Spriggs Canyon. So yeah, pretty amazing. Um, it says here that uh, he and his team of, team of scuba divers uh, completed the first benthic survey of the Gulf St. Vincent and establishing a valuable baseline for plants, animals and subsurface terrain in existence at the time. These results are still referenced today. So yeah, nice little restoration of his diving chamber. take about 25. <laughs> the wind is pretty bad here. I tried it out there on the old jetty and um, hang on to your hat and stuff, I'll tell you. Anyway, the jetty, it's three, it was 381 meters long. It was built back in uh, 1859. And then somewhere around about 1873, they put a lighthouse at the end. So that was a bit of a bad move because uh, the lighthouse apparently caught fire and damaged the, uh, the jetty a bit. Um, and if that wasn't bad enough, later on, a hurricane came through. I think it was around about 1948, and that pretty much demolished the jetty. So yeah, back in 1969, they then rebuilt the jetty. However, it was a bit small, 215 meters. But a popular place to come, walk, fish, swim. Pretty neat little spot down here at Glenelg. Um, the Glenel Township itself has got a population I understand around about 35,000 people, so yeah, pretty busy little area to come. So back in 1969, they built Oh come on, take up right. So take number. <laughs> you might have a piece of that one together, Jude. Yes, Dean. Hello. Oh, yo. Uh, and my timing's not good. Might have to add this one in. <laughs> now all I've got to do is just get my timing right where it's going. Oh, there it is. I'll try it again. It's hard to hear them with the road traffic here. And the wind's blowing that way. Might have to try it again. 
But up on this uh, trail uh, tree is uh, some grey, oh, some grey-haired fox bats. Uh, what do they call them? Just uh, finished our tucker down at the old. Uh, what do they call them? I think they're a uh, a grey, uh, a grey fox tail bat or something. Fox fox head. Huh. 